So let's practice using the, tri uh, the cast diagram. So we said that we need to construct a little triangle for ourselves. So there we have it, and that triangle is 90 degrees. Because this over here is a 1, it means that this length here is 1. If that doesn't make sense to you, pause the video, give it some thought, or watch the previous video on the introduction to the cast diagram. But in summary, it's because this is the x value of 1. And so if you had a little dot over here, and this coordinate was 1 and 2, it would mean that you've gone one place to the right and two places up. And so because this y value is 2, it means that this length over here is 2. Then to find the, the diagonal length, we are going to go and use Pythagoras, this part over here. And so we're gonna, we can, you can call this letter whatever you like. So in the previous video I used R, but let's use W, just to show you that it doesn't matter. So we can say W squared equals to 1 squared plus 2 squared. And on the right hand side you'll end up with 5. And then if you take the square root of that, you're going to end up with square root of 5. And so this length here is the square root of 5. And so there we have it. Now we can go work out the sin, cos, and tan of theta. To do that, we would need to remember Sokotoa. In the previous video, I did say that many teachers like to use the x, r, and y method. You are more than welcome to use that method, but it can choose between that method or Sokotoa. I personally like to use the Sokotoa method. And so let's start off with sin. So we know that sin is equal to the opposite. So the opposite of theta is 2, and the, the hypotenuse is the square root of 5. Moving on to the cos, the cos of theta is the adjacent. What happened to that 1? I'm sure there's a little 1 there. I must have erased it. That cos theta is going to be equal to 1 over the square root of 5, because that's the hypotenuse. And then the tan of theta, well, that's going to be equal to the opposite over the adjacent, which is 1. Let's try another example. So remember in the previous video, we said that technically the angle we're busy looking at is this whole angle that goes from here all the way around. And then there should actually be a little arrow over here, like that. But don't worry about that. All you do is you make yourself a little triangle, and then you make yourself a little angle in the corner here. And then you just work inside that triangle, and, and, and you can sort of forget about this part now, okay? So if we look at that triangle, we know that this point over here, its x value is 3, which means that, well, if we had a triangle like this, where this coordinate, I've just enlarged it, where this is 3 and this is minus 4, this 3 is the x value, so it means that this length over here is 3, and this part over here, we will call that minus 4. Although its length is not minus 4, it's only going to have a length of positive 4. You can't have a negative length, but because it's in the negative y-axis, we will call that a negative 4. And yes, in the previous video, I mentioned that some teachers don't like that, of which I've actually only ever heard of one teacher that doesn't like that. All the other teachers actually use this method over here. Most textbooks even use that method. But you do get the odd teacher that's very theoretical. So if your teacher is one of those, then just listen carefully to what they're saying. They'll want you to label it slightly differently. Okay, so we know then that this length, we're going to call this 3, and then this is going to be negative 4. We can then use Pythagoras to find the diagonal. So I'm going to call that diagonal W, and that's going to be equal to minus 4 squared plus 3 squared. And that's going to give us 16 plus 9, which is 25. And if you had to take the square root of 25, you would end up with 5. And so now we can go work out the sin, cos, and tan. So we say sin theta. Now notice I'm saying sin theta, and technically theta is this big angle on the outside. But we still have to call it sin theta, but we're going to use this little red angle to do the calculations. And so sin is always equal to the opposite, which is negative 4, over the hypotenuse, which is 5. Cos is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the adjacent of that red dot, well, that's the 3. And the hypotenuse is 5. And then tan theta, well, that's equal to the opposite, which is negative 4, over the hypotenuse, which is 5. 